So, hello everybody! What is going on, dude? Today is uh, Kibu Shimagi here, and welcome back, or well, actually, welcome to our brand new playthrough of Pokemon Dark Rising. First and foremost, this is a ROM hack. This is not by any legitimate means an actual Pokemon game, though you can get a cartridge for this by doing a bit of uh, cheating, I guess. Aside from that, I don't want to go too much into it. I just wanted to play something new, play something Pokemon that I had the means of playing at the moment to kind of help catch up. And I've been wanting to touch on this game for a while because it was a game that I played with my homie Wolf, and we had a lot of fun playing it. Without further ado, of course, it's basic. It has the basis of Fire Red's um, ROM cartridge. However, things are obviously played differently, so we're gonna have a blast with this. I hope you guys do enjoy, and I hope you guys are ready for this long winding probably year-long adventure because this game there's a lot to do and there are subsequent entries in the series so there's a lot to go off of this <clears throat> in the world which you are about to enter you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero speak to people and check things wherever you go be it towns roads or caves gather information and hints from every source New paths will open up to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. No. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your journey begin. Counter Arceus, or some, some people say Arceus. I don't really know what's the correct pronunciation, but I prefer saying Arceus. Yeah. What the? Am I dreaming? Dear child, I have chosen you, one of pure heart, to save me and the world itself. What? What's going on? This world is inhabited by humans and Pokemon, and gr is in grave danger. An evil dark entity has reawakened from its slumber. I've chosen you to free me from my chamber and wield my power. Quickly, the last of my strength is fading. Are you a male or are you a female, young one? I'm a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Just be flatter and blunt. We are who we are. And I'm actually going to do a shortened style in a sense, I think. Can't. Actually, no, who am I kidding? This is GBA. Everything's probably capitalized. We'll stick with it. As you all know, my name is Isaac. Alright, so your name is Isaac? Yes, it is. I sense another close to you who also has a pure heart. Pure of heart. Tell me, do you know who this person is? His name is Kaz, actually. So, is it Kaz? Yes, it is. Ah, I see. Your best friend, Kaz, is worthy. Yes, he is, indeed. That's one way to look at it. <clears throat> Isaac, you must become strong. A new chapter in your young life is about to begin. Free me, and we will defeat Darulis. You don't get much else. Ugh. I'm awake. That was some crazy dream. Well... I better get going. Let me go into the options immediately. Let me change my tech speed. Shift style, it's fine, sound, frame. Give me a cool frame. We'll go with 10, why not? There we go. So now everything's a lot faster. Check our PC. We still have the tried and true potion. Now I don't know exactly where everything is. I don't know where or what exactly everyone is gonna say or what the story contains. All I know is I played through this with my buddy, Wolf. We basically sped through it, trying to get to the end, and we struggled with the final fight. And here's the hoping that it doesn't happen again, but sort of does happen. We'll see what happens. But yeah. <clears throat> you were in a dream... You were in Dreamland last night, huh? Dreamland? You were talking while you were asleep, silly. You looked really cute. Uh, talking to myself? Well, thanks, Mom. There's been a sudden climbing there's been sudden climate changes around the core region. Experts are still finding out the cause of these disasters. 
We're reporting live at Pokey TV. So we're in the core region. Isaac, wait. It seems like there's a lot to note. I almost forgot. I bought you new shoes. Oh, thank you. Running shoes. Finally, can dash. I'll read the instructions for you. Yes, press and hold the B button outside. Are you going to hang out with Cass? You bet. Please be careful, okay? The core region is undergoing a lot of unusual weather. Okay, Mom. You already know. We obey and we listen. Hey, Isaac. Oh shit, it's Kaz. Professor Ivan wants to say something to us. Follow me. And we are dragged along with no other choice. I like how well it utilizes different uh, things. It's utilizing a lot of different aspects. And as you could guess, since this is a ROM hack, it actually uses a lot of Pokemon from other regions. Regions we haven't been to yet. So, we're going to get a lot of basis introductions now. Though, I don't think I'll go too much in depth about them. I'm just going to go over the ones that we can that we're, we're handed, I guess. But yeah. We're finally here, Ivan. What's up? Well, you see, last night a strange event occurred. And because of that, the delivery man, the delivery man became afraid to travel to the core region. What happened? I'll get to that later. But first, Isaac, I need you to pick up my package at the station. And Kaz, I need you to pick up some ingredients from the Twist Woodlands. There's no way I'm getting in there. The guard never lets anybody pass without permission. Don't worry. I'll send him a text to let you pass. A text? That's news That's news to me. Ahem. You'll need these Pokemon. What? You're just gonna give us these Pokemon? Yes. Due to the sudden disasters, I cannot risk you both to be in danger. They are all Dragon Pokemon. They will keep you safe from harm. Isaac, can you believe this? We're finally getting our own Pokemon. Uh, Kaz? I think he's just letting us borrow them. No! They'll be yours for... No, they'll be yours for keeping. Really? Sweet! I can't wait to pick mine. Uh, you alright, Kaz? Yeah, I just want to be surprised. No peeking, then. Of course not! He covers his eyes with his hands. We have three choices! I see. Dratini is your choice, huh? It's a very mysterious Pokemon. Do you want the dragon Pokemon Dratini? Dratini! We've been over before! It evolves into Dragonair and eventually Dragonite. It is a pure dragon type off the bat, but becomes dragon flying in the end. High HP, pretty good attack, pretty good special attack, mediocre speed, defenses are pretty good. As you can probably guess, with all dragon type starters, we have a bunch of pseudo legendaries. So, yeah. Uh, of course, you pick and choose whichever one you want. We have a representative of Gen 1 slash 3. We have, I see, Bagon is your choice, huh? It's a Pokemon worth to raise. So you want the Rockhead Pokemon back on back on is of course my personal favorite, a true representative of Gen 3. Pure Dragon type becomes a uh, Dragon Flying type in the end with Shellgon and Salamence. Uh, pretty powerful, really high speed, really high attack, pretty decent special attack. Uh, defenses are pretty frail, so it can be a bit of a glass cannon, but it can hit pretty hard. So if you can make it move and make it hit, it can dish out loads of damage. And last up is. I see. Gibble is your choice, huh? It's clumsy yet powerful. So, Isaac, you want the land shark Pokemon Gibble? Gibble is from Gen 4, from the Sinnoh region. We don't really go. We're not gonna really get too much into it. We're not gonna go over um, much about it, other than it is a ground dragon type, the first of its kind, I believe. Um, it evolves in the 20s, or no, the late 20s, early 30s, into Gabite, and it evolves into Garchomp uh, around 48, late 40s, early 50s. I believe it's 48, though. But yeah, Gibble, pretty powerful, really high attack, really high speed, pretty decent defenses all around, has a bit of low HP, but it makes up for that with its offensive style. It can dish out damage like a gerbil. It is disgusting, it is fast, it is powerful. Um, just, again, be wary with it because it has a quad weakness right off the bat compared to the other two, which they don't get it until the end. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but Gibble, is, if your choice, is from Gen 4. We haven't been to the center region yet, but hopefully soon we will. Though, of course, my choice is going to have to be my tried and true favorite. Bag on! Yes, I do. This Pokemon is really energetic. Receive a bag on from Professor Ivan. Do you want to give it a nickname? I don't really have any names to think of right now. This one's mine. He 
receives the Dratini. So Kaz obviously will pick the one actually to your left for the most part. So if you pick Bagon, he'll deal with Dratini. If you pick Dratini, he'll go with Gibble. If you go with Gibble, he'll go with Bagon. Pretty interesting and simple to note. Pretty straightforward. Let's see if Professor Ivan has anything else to say. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the station. Alright, let's get a move on. Hey, Isaac. Do you know what I'm thinking? Oh, hell yeah, let's do this. First round up, we got a battle with our good rival, Kaz. He starts off with a Dratini, level 5, pure dragon type. I believe Shed Skin for the ability. Isaac, it's that voice from that dream. When battling opponents such as this, simply attacking will not lead you to victory. You have strategy to overcome him. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than explaining, you'll learn more from experience. Go forth with your Pokemon and triumph! Again, as I was saying, he has a Dratini level 5 pure dragon type shed skin for the ability, I think with the moves Rap, Growl, Leer, and something else, I don't know. Um, I believe both of us are holding a Orenberry. It's important to get to know your Pokemon thoroughly. This is a list of your Pokemon eyes. Open this to check the skills and moves of your Pokemon. You can also choose Pokemon here if you want to use an item on one. Now I'm taking just a wild guess at these um, moves and such. I don't know them exactly. I'm just giving a rough estimate of what I think they'll have. So I might not be able to know everything that um, your rival or that other trainers may have. I only can know whatever I remember or recall or from um, a little help of a small walkthrough from Dark Rising Girl, the creator themselves. Um, I believe it's from Dark Rising Girl. Um, I don't know, it's from Alien Hunter X. Yeah, from them. They're the GOAT. They're, you can find the walkthrough online if you want. Um, but yeah, so this is my bag on. have a lonely nature, so that's plus attack minus speed, I think, which is kind of bad. Rockhead, Rage, Defense Curl, Leer, and Bite. We both have an, uh, an Orenberry. And I don't believe that they kind of did the physical special split in this game, or at least in this style. So remember, obviously, typing determines whether it's physical or special, so watch out for that. Other than that, I say, I know that this is normal. Okay, let's go with Leer right off the bat. Swift, there we go. I think it was, yeah. I think it was Rap, Swift, Leer, and Growl or something like that? Lowering, oh, it's supposed to, it's supposed to say the, what's his name? Question mark, question mark, question mark, but it says, oh, gotta have it. Lowering the foe's stats will put you in an advantage. Yes, it will. He's Leer right off the bat. Let's start going for Rage. That's gonna do some damage. Boom. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. We use our Ornberry immediately. I believe we both have one, so this is gonna be kind of iffy. Rage again. We're slightly faster. Or we might be in a speed tie. Rage is building. Thankfully to Rage, I get more damage every turn, or every hit we take. Boom. Oh, he doesn't have one. Okay, well, I guess we win. Nice. I think Gibble, I think it has Sand Veil or something like that for its ability. Um, Ground Dragon, and then um, I think it has Bite, Defense Curl. Leer and something else. I don't know what. Oh, I didn't catch what he, what he said. That's my fault. I was just matching. I looked away and I just matched A. Well done. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. I don't know the trainers will make your Pokemon stronger. I'll meet you back here after I get Ivan's ingredients. Make sure to train. Oh, you bet, Kaz. We will. Let's see if these scientists have anything else to say. Hi, I'm a meteorologist. I study the atmosphere and weather climates as Professor Ivan's aid. Is my Pete staying out of trouble? Pete's dad. So we haven't met a guy named Pete yet. We can. Hi, ah, I'm a meteorologist. So the, uh, you say the same thing. I believe we get a free heal after that battle. Yes, we do. And funny enough, our Bagon is a female, so this is going to be an interesting adventure. We begin here in Fellstown, and I almost forgot we can run. Kaz's house. Well, let's pay a visit to Kaz's parents. Or his, his sister. Oh, his mom. Oh, well, hello, Isaac. I heard you had a battle with Kaz. I wish I could have seen it. Uh, I won, so it doesn't matter. You know me, catching the W. I just moved here from the Johto region. I heard this place attracts Pokemon from every region in the world. Yeah, that's why I love this place. I don't know why I put on a voice for my character. It's a force of habit, I guess. 
So, Isaac, I see you and Kaz are finally ready to become Pokemon Masters. But it seems you two picked the wrong time to start your journey. The weather's much terrible up ahead. Good luck, though. Alright, well, can you get out of the way? Yeah. So we could continue north, but we can also get some free battles. I don't think there's anything this way. I obviously want to check around. Ah, we can face through our house, the roof of it. These guys, you can fight them, you can gain some quick experience and some quick money, as well as a free item, as long as you can beat them. Hi, Isaac. It seems that you already have a Pokemon. How about we test it on a battle? Sure, let's go. Wait, before we start, share the rules. We're called the Trainer Trio. You have to battle the three of us in a row. Don't worry, if you defeat one of us, we will restore your Pokemon back to full health. We'll reward you with, a, with something special if you defeat all of us. So, you ready? You bet. All right, let's go. A free easy battle right away, which is not too rough. Trainer Jothia. She has a Minchino that is from Gen 5. That is from the Unova region over, um, that is a pure normal type, I believe. I don't know if they have the fairies counted into this game or not, which is a new typing that is added in Gen 6. But we're just going to go off of how I would normally do it. Let's just duke it out with these guys, lower their stats, and uh, yeah, we have weather effects as well, so this is going to be a grand old time. Boom. It feels so weird having a female bag on, but I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I don't know if I'll stick with this, or maybe I'll reset and I'll try. I'll just get a male. Um, in the meantime, let me actually check what um, lonely nature is. That's a lot of damage. Um, Pokemon natures. I always forget the nature charts. I'm I won't even lie. We have ourselves... Ooh, just barely. Lonely. Oh, okay. Plus attack, minus defense. Not too bad. I would have preferred adamant, but... That's, a, that, uh, that's not too bad. Let's see what our stats looking like now. Okay, okay. That's the first one down. Shoot, I lost. Again, quick, easy, go-to money. There, I healed your Pokemon back to full health. Okay, I'm up next. I don't think I'll go easy, are you? We just have a bunch of fights coming up, a bunch of, bunch of moves just coming out. We have Pokemon Trainer Omar with a Blitzel that is also from Gen 5. It is a pure electric type, pretty fast, pretty powerful. Um, if you chose Gibble, you'd actually be serving yourself pretty well in this fight, because I don't think um, you'd be able to do much against you. Though I don't know if it has any even electric type moves to begin with, so maybe it just won't matter. But uh, it should be fine for the most part. Either way. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's two tail whips. That's a whole stage down, and I don't like that. Please stop. Quick attack. That's what it was arming up for. Alright, well, it didn't even do that much damage, so we're good! Nice. Blitzel is out. And who is the last guy? What does he got, huh? Boom. Down and out. We are good. Hey, you hit level 8. Not too bad. Damn, that is a lot of experience. What just happened? You lost! Simple as that. There, I healed your Pokemon back to full health. Alright, I'm up last. I'm gonna crush you. Last Pokemon Trainer? What do you got for me, huh? You, Pokemon Trainer George, you have a Patrat. Also from Gen 5, another pure normal type. Uh, that regen's Rattata, to put it short. But better, actually, because it can do so much more. Um, yeah, they're all level 4, they're all pretty straightforward, pretty decently powerful Pokemon if you're not prepared for them, but should be okay for the most part. At the very least, I can at least list out nature so you guys can come up with the weaknesses pretty easily, as long as you know your, your matchup chart. If you don't, that's fine. I mean, I, I can always just go over what their weaknesses are anyways. Ah, but with this last battle, I think this is a good stopping point. I know we didn't make much progress, but hey, of course, always the intro is going to have a lot for us to take care of. A lot to take care of and a lot to do. Boom. Lower line back on. Yeah, focus energy. I don't really use that move, so it's fine. Faded Pokemon Trainer George, you creamed me. Another 320. That's three, so that's, what is that, 960? There, I hate your Pokemon back to full health. Congratulations! You defeated the three of us in a row. Here's your reward. We obtain a nugget. 
which can be sold for I think 5,000 or 1,000. The item is sold at a very high price. You can sell those at a nearby Pokemart. Well, not bad, not too bad. With that, we arrive on Duba Road. And I think this is gonna be a pretty good stopping point. We have our little bag on here. Pretty good stats all around. 20 attack, that's not bad. I think a speed buffing nature would be better, but I eh, will see. Hope you guys did enjoy though. This is a pretty basic and straightforward start. I hope next time we'll get a lot more progress done. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys continue to enjoy. And I will obviously be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.